between me and I'm gonna do you some serious harm you big stiff idiot the untouchable true school sports empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing hey what's going on it's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of true school sports subscribers all right so I wanted to just comment a little bit you know there's been some videos making their their, their rounds around social media in regards to uh, Ryan Garcia and uh, training with Derek James. We all know that Ryan Garcia has recently partnered up with the world renowned, one of the best coaches in the game, Derek James, to, to work on those skills, to work on those fundamentals of boxing. And, um, you know, he was recently spotted at a gym I'm very familiar with in Las Vegas, a Fight Capital Gym. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a boxing slash MMA gym, but it's a place that a lot of fighters go to that really isn't as packed as a lot of the other gyms in Las Vegas. So when fighters want to go somewhere that's quiet, they go to Fight Capital. I know this because one of my good friends, Angelo Leo, he goes there quite frequently and I've watched him do many training sessions there. So uh, he was there recently because uh, Frank Morin has his fight this this weekend and, and, and the whole Derek James stable pretty much was spotted there. Ryan Garcia, Earl Spence, this, that, and the third. But um, just looking at the clips, I wanted to kind of talk about some of the things I'm seeing in the clips now. Ryan Garcia, you know, what I can say from a little bit that we, we did see is that he's starting to look like a much more polished fighter. Obviously, there's still some there's some chinks in the armor, but like I'm watching this clip right now on a loop, and you can you can you can kind of see those those the basic foundations of boxing are being built. The foundational skills of boxing are being built up for Ryan Garcia. You see him subtly fainting you see the jab coming and 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 the and the and the the backhand staying up not dropping it you can see uh he's doing he's doing a great job keeping those punches nice and straight uh, you can see that he's stepping with his punches um and he's just slowing things down he's 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 uh as they would say he's uh measuring twice and cutting once being a lot more calculated with his punches and i feel like you know as he continues to to get these things, the foundational parts of his skills in place with Derrick James, you're gonna see those things begin to blend with the natural speed and the athleticism that he does have. And we're gonna get a dangerous fighter at 140, uh, especially because he, he doesn't have to make that sh uh, uh, ass shot of a weight cut. So I love what I'm seeing with Derrick James. Um, Ryan Garcia really seems like he's listening to Derrick James. So, so far, so good when it comes to Ryan Garcia uh, and the skills and things like that, amassing and improving under the watchful eye of Derrick James. Now, another news, switching gears, also Ryan Garcia related. Uh, he did call out Regis Progre. He, he recently did take to Twitter and he called out Regis Progre and he was very adamant uh, with his call out, pretty much saying, um, pretty much saying, look, he said, pretty much, look, Regis, if you want the fight, let Eddie Hearn know. I'm confident I'll do damage at 140. And if you want to make something happen, please contact my team. I'm dead serious about fighting you. So Ryan Garcia, uh, the ambition has not been beaten out of him by Javante Davis. Uh, his setback is not keeping him down. He wants all the smoke at Regis Progray. And let's be real. You gotta be you gotta be led to believe that not just Ryan Garcia, but the entire the entire 140 division has to be kind of, you know licking their chops to fight Regis Progre after the uh, lackluster performance he recently had against Danielito Zarilla. You know, he fought Danielito Zarilla, who I think has some similar attributes to Orion Garcia. You know, Zarilla uh, is a long, rangy uh, a, a puncher, but in that fight, he kind of switched up his style and he became the long, rangy uh, boxer puncher. You know, he boxed a lot more than he was coming forward looking to knock him out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it worked. He, I, I thought, you know, he, there was a knockdown in that fight that the referee didn't count for Zarilla. Um, he boxed a very good fight. And I don't, I, I think, you know, it was a close fight, closer than the scorecards indicated. So um, he, Ryan probably took a lot from that, along with the, the, the foundational skills he's building up in the gym with Derek James. 
So I know, I think Regis recently was, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I, I believe Regis was ordered to fight Sandor Martin recently by the WBC. I could be wrong, but I believe that's what happened. Uh, I'll check right now, actually. Let me, let me check right now while I'm, while I'm talking about it. But um, I'm pretty sure um, if that fight can't happen, I would love to see this fight happen because um, I feel like an it's an explosive fight. Yeah, the WBC ordered Regis Progre to uh, fight Sandor Martin. So... If we can't get, uh, if that fight does not happen, if for whatever reason, uh, Regis Progre uh, can't come to an agreement with Sandor Martin, if the WBC allows him to, which I, I think they will, if, if the opportunity presents, presents itself and Regis is serious about fighting Ryan, because Regis, Regis has been very vocal in the past about saying he would beat the, beat the crap out of Ryan Garcia. Um, I would love that fight. Um, I don't think maybe... Derek James may not want that fight right away. Maybe they want might want to take a softer touch just so they can get some things established before they go into a tough fight like that. But I'll love that fight for boxing. I'll love that fight for the 140 division because um, you know, I feel like Regis needs a big fight. And I feel like Ryan Garcia needs to make a statement at 140. So um Sandor Martin, good fighter, top contender. I got all the respect in the world for Sandor Martin. Um You know what? I'll I'll tell you this. I would like Ryan Garcia versus Sandor Martin first, actually, you know, because um, Sandor Martin to me is a proven commodity at 140. You know, he beat Ryan, he beat Mike Garcia and retired him. He's dropped T from Lopez and gave him a fight in which many people thought he lost. I wouldn't mind seeing Ryan fight a nice, tricky style like that, you know, southpaw mover, something like that, because um, you know, Sandor Martin, Sandor Martin's uh, he's no slouch. And I feel like if Ryan Garcia, I, I feel like that would be a good fight for Ryan Garcia to test the things that he's been learning in the gym with Derrick James. And if he can look good in that fight, then that would per perfectly lead into a Regis Prograde fight. So I'm actually going to pull back on live being for the Prograde fight. I want to see Ryan fight Sandra Martin first because I think that fight would give us um, some good insight into where he's at right now with Derrick James. And if he could pass that test and pass it with flying colors, then it leads perfectly into the Regis Prograde fight. So, um, yeah. I'll go with that. You know, Ryan Garcia is not scared of anything. This guy loves competition. He loves competition so much that I don't know if you guys heard, but Ryan Garcia recently competed in the World Series of Poker, which for those of you who don't know, the World Series of Poker is like the biggest poker tournament in the world. They have it in Las Vegas. It cost like $10,000 to enter. They had like, I think it was like over 10,000 entries, 10,000 people compete in this damn tournament. And Ryan Garcia actually placed... 566 out of 10,000. So that, that's pretty good because he's not really like the um, most experienced poker player. So it shows you his level of competitiveness, not just in boxing, but outside of boxing. So I'm going to pull back on the pro gray fight. I want to see Ryan Garcia test those skills that he's been building up in the gym with Derek James against Sandor Martin, somebody who's proven, tried and true at 140, um, who I think has a big reputation of frustrating fighters with the awkward southpaw movement and style. And if he can if he can look good in that fight, that leads perfectly into a Regis Progre fight. And um yeah, you know, it gives him that time to, you know, get what he needs in place before a Progre fight. Because Progre is still, regardless of how bad he may have looked against Daniel Lita Cirilla, Progre is still one of the top fighters and dangerous fighters in boxing. And um you're gonna need to be on your P's and Q's when you go into a fight with, with Rogaru. So uh yeah. That's the that's that's my take on Ryan Garcia and, and the latest with him and, and what's going on with him from from what's going on with Derrick James to him calling out Progre all the way to him in the World Series of Poker. So you just get in it from all angles here on True School Sports. So let me know what you guys think about the potential for a Ryan Garcia, uh, Progre, or Sandor Martin fight. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dang So until next time, take it, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. We're here at the Hatanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, for more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.